guys, uh, PJ here, bringing you another video. Uh, I, after my other video I put out on cardamizer tanks, I had a few people ask me to do a video about cardamizers. So I'm going to try to explain, basically, to you what ohm cardamizer you should use on what voltage. Basically, the rule of thumb here is the lower the ohm, the lower the voltage. So we're going to get right into it. I'm going to go through a few different ohm ratings uh, of cardamizers and explain to you what the optimum voltage is for each one of those cardamizers. So we're going to start right off with a 1.7 ohm cardamizer. A 1.7 ohm cardamizer, the optimum voltage you want to run that at is between 3.3 and 4.2 volts. Okay, 3.3 to 4.2 volts on a 1.7 ohm cardamizer. Sound good? Moving on. In the Prover here, I have a 2 ohm cardamizer. The optimum voltage for a 2 ohm cardamizer is between 3.7 and 4.5 volts. Once again, 2 ohm cardamizer, 3.7 to 4.5 volts. Here on this 2 ohm cardamizer, I have the Proveri set at 4.5 volts. I'm going to give you a vape, show you the amount of vapor you can get out of this. Awesome, hey? Once again, 2 ohm cardamizer, 3.7 to 4.5 volts. Moving up. In this device, I have a 2.5 ohm cardamizer. 2.5 ohm cardamizer. Optimum voltage is between 4.2 and 5 volts. You got that? 2.5 ohm cardamizer, 4.2 to 5 volts. Okay. Next one I have here is a 3 ohm cardamizer. The optimum voltage for a 3 ohm cardamizer is between 5 and 6 volts. That's really all I got for you guys. Uh, in this video here that I showed you, all these cardamizers are single coil cardamizers. Uh, I recommend staying away from the dual coil cardamizers, especially when using them in a tank. That's my personal opinion. Others might feel differently, uh, but the ohm ratings can confuse people when it comes to a dual coil cardamizer. So stick to the single ohm cardamizers and you'll understand uh, what I mean. So I'm going to run you through that again real quick. 1.7 ohm cardamizer, 3.3 to 4.2 volts. 2 ohm cardamizer, 3.7 to 4.5 volts. 2.5 ohm cardamizer, 4.2 to 5 volts. And a 3 ohm cardamizer, you want to run between 5 and 6 volts. Okay? I hope that guy that helped you guys out a lot. Uh, I tried to make it simple, and uh, I don't think it gets any more simple than that. So uh, if you need to rewind, pause, and listen again, do it. Because you're going to find the uh, optimal vape with these different voltages I showed you guys. So if you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, thank you guys for watching, and uh, vape on.